Zionist, activist, journalist, and a man of vision. The world is marking 120 years since the publication of Theodor Herzl's famous book Alt Neuland, or Old New Land, which envisioned the modern state of Israel years before its creation. I'm thinking how I wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. We wouldn't have a country if it weren't for him. I mean, he, he was so determined. He, he gave his life practically so that the Jewish people would have a homeland. So that was what inspired me. Carol Mannheim, a British Jewish publisher who came to Israel several years ago, decided to dedicate her book to Herzl and his vision. The book consists of a collection of articles which tackle Herzl and his vision in different angles. I think Herzl envisioned peace between the Arabs and the Jews. And hopefully that will come to pass. But I mean, the thing is, he, he only, as I said, he only came once. He felt inspired. He felt we needed a place that we could call our own. And I think to judge what he said and, and say was he right or wrong is not really the, the point of it all. Because things just change so much. But we're, we're here, and that's what's important. And he, and he realized that the Jewish people needed a homeland. The book also contains modern illustrations of Herzl by some of Israeli's finest painters. Some of them present Herzl as a pop culture icon. He can be seen in so many different ways, and, and one doesn't have to be so serious about him. I mean, 21st century is a freedom to display him with a surfboard or whatever. You know, I mean, I don't think there was surfing in Herzl's day. But it's to show how things are now and how he has impacted the country. I mean, I think there, there is a Herzl beer. In 1897, Herzl convened the first Zionist Congress, which gathered hundreds of delegates and was a key step in the Zionist movement towards the formation of Israel in 1948. But despite his enormous contribution to the Zionist movement, Carol thinks Herzl's legacy is fading. I feel like he, his, he's gotten lost along the way, and, and that's why I wanted to do this book, because I feel Many people have forgotten him and, and don't give him enough credit. And hopefully there will be a, a wonderful film. But I think the film about him, he was a complex man and his life was complex and that might get involved, might sort of take over the, the plot, so to speak. In Alt Neuland, Herzl envisioned Israel as a socially secular utopia which lives in peace with his neighbors. He also saw an advanced and technological society, perhaps the prototype of the startup nation of contemporary Israel. Is Herzl's vision still relevant today? Perhaps, as he put it himself, if he will it, it is no legend.